Good morning. Say that again. Good morning. Hey guys, ready for some Panthers. I'm hopping on early because I want to make sure that you have your equipment settled and ready to go. I set a message up on our feed yesterday, last night, to kind of give you a heads up at some of the equipment. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Lisa. Um, so that you can be prepared. All right, so here we go. What you're gonna need, good morning, Christy. Brent joined, awesome. So if you have dumbbells, that's gonna be your go-to. There, you're, gonna, you're gonna be able to pick the right amount of weight. We've got some bicep curls, we've got some overhead presses, we've got lunges, we've got step ups. So if you have dumbbells, that's what you want. I would suggest starting with a light and a heavy set so that you at least can have a little bit of play there. Hey, all right. Alternative options, water jugs. They will get you through just about every exercise today. Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so water jugs, one gallon water jugs are gonna be a great option. They're a little tricky to use on some of the exercises, A, because they might be a little too heavy, or B, because the grip is a little bit hard to adjust. So grab them if you have them, because we can make it work if you don't. You can also use one and a half liter bottles. You can use, I've got some other equipment here that I'm gonna also walk you through. Um, so I'm just gonna tilt the camera down, and you guys can take a look at kind of my little playground here. So I have my set of dumbbells here. I've chosen these based on the overhead shoulder presses, all right? So grab them based on that. I also have a cast iron skillet on the floor, all right? So if you guys have been doing F45 for any amount of time, we do these plated over the shoulder um, tosses. I always say to people when we're coaching in the class, it's like throwing your nasty dinner over your shoulder. Well, today we're gonna throw a whole skillet. It's what I had at home that was heavy enough to kind of get me between Alan McCracken, you're back. Are you gonna do it this morning? Get your shoes on. Grab some dumbbells. I know you have them in your garage. Anyway, back to what I was saying about the plated over shoulder throws. So I have my cast iron skillet. If you have um, superhero, that's right, Lick, <laughs> here to save the day. Um, if you have a weighted plate at home, you can use those. If you wanna just stick to your dumbbells, you're gonna sandwich them together and use those instead. Broomstick is gonna be valuable. We've been talking about how to use a broomstick for deadlifts. We're also gonna be doing some tricep work in there this morning where we put the stick through those water jugs. Um, you can fill up a bucket of water. We are doing some deadlifts today. So a whole full five gallon bucket of water. Not super duper heavy, but at least it'll get you through the range of motion. And remember on those movements, elongation of that muscle fiber is going to create tension and stress in there. So that's, that's doing good in and of itself. I have a step over here, let me turn the camera. So I've got the good old fashioned plyo box, the F45 plyo box, but hey, if you don't have one, grab your kiddo's um, toothbrush, <laughs> toothbrush stool, something, anything. Do it on the edge of some stairs. Uh, you could always grab a dining room chair. And then we're also doing some knee tucks. In the studio, we would use our Swiss ball, the massive big round Swiss ball. I brought over a foam roller. I figure a lot of people probably have a foam roller at home. We're also gonna double that foam roller up. Good morning, Chance. And um, Emily's here too. Yay, we've got a nice little crew. Um, use that foam roller for some knee tucks. We're also gonna turn it over onto our back and use it for some uh, hamstring curls. We also have the balls here, soccer balls, basketballs, whatever works for you for those hamstring curls as well, all right? So um, it's time to get started. I hope you guys are ready, all right? So we've got Panthers, you're doing three sets at each station. You got a total of 14 exercises today. In that you're working for 35 seconds and your rest period is 25. That's 25 seconds of quality recovery time in between each and every exercise. So with that, we're looking to take this, the, the tempo up. If you have lightweight, that's how we're gonna get it done. We're also going to look to try and find that heavy, um, heavy object in each of these moves, because you have three sets, you can play with them a little bit, all right? Um, I'm gonna lead you through a quick demo of today's workout. Like I said, you're doing three sets at each station, 35 seconds, good morning, Kylie, of work, 25 seconds of rest, and then we will move on, all right? So we're gonna start with our first exercise. It is a dumbbell move. We're gonna bring some of those dumbbells, or you can use your water jug. You're gonna come down into a nice deep squat, keeping the feet underneath the hips, and from here, you're gonna get as low as you can, balancing the weight between both the left and right heel. Next up, we're going into a thrust move. In the studio, we'll be using a dead ball. We can use our jugs of water or our dumbbells. It is a kettlebell swing type move. Slight bend in those knees, 
Your hips are driving those weights forward. It's not an upper body movement. Next up, we're going into a bent over row. We would use suspension straps for this in the studio, but instead what we're going to do is we're gonna go into a neutral grip. That's where our palms are facing and we're bringing those elbows out wide, really wrapping the shoulder blades around our spine. Next up, we've got a sandbag move. Now, when the time comes, I want you to put your water bags in that duffel bag I told you to get last night. You're doing an alternating lunge and you're gonna bring the sandbag over the forward leg and then right opposite over to the other leg. Make sure we get that nice quality bend in the knee. Next up is the deadlift, all right? This is where you're gonna put your bar in between your, your jugs of water. Feet are shoulder width apart, flat back with those um, shoulder blades pinched. Descend all the way down to the mid shin and then power back up through the heels. Multiple jugs of water for that one, guys, because those boot is stronger than you think. Next, we're on to a box step up with racked kettlebells. If you have them, if not, you're just going to use your dumbbells. It is an alternating step up and step down. I'm not taking you out of the frame here. After that, we've got an upright row. If you want to use your jugs of water and your bar. This will be most like the move we would do in the studio where you're just leading with those elbows, bringing the fists to the collarbone. But you can always opt for the dumbbells. Next, we've got that over the shoulder plated throw. With your heavy object in a feet and athletic stance, you're taking the object from one hip and tossing it up and over your shoulder. You're gonna alternate sides. And then next, you're coming to the ground. This is where you can use your balls or you can use your foam roller. It's a basic hamstring curl with those hips lifted, full extension all the way out to the heels, into the toes, really activating the whole core. From there, scoop back on your mat, and with those jumps of water, you're doing tricep extensions. In this movement, you want your elbows pretty close together. Wow, that might happen. If it does, no sweat, get up, fix it, or grab your dumbbells. And next, you're coming into a combo move of a knee tuck and a push up. You're gonna put those shins on top, of your foam roller. You got one push up and a knee tuck. One push up and a knee tuck. If you have a Swiss ball, feel free to use that. If not, you're gonna do a double footed mountain climber. Next, you got basic crunches. One your foot on the ground, get your flat, cross your elbow or your hands at your chest, and then sit up, bringing the belly button down into the spine. And then we're coming up. In this next movement, we're gonna do a, um, I forgot what it is. Oh, it's a deadlift, so bring those dumbbells up in a bicep hold. You're gonna hip hinge forward for a good morning. From there, come to the top, slight bend in those knees, push the dumbbells overhead for a push press. And next up, we've got a sumo squat with bicep curls. Feet are gonna be angled out just to about 45 degrees, palms facing away, descend into that nice squat with your head, weight in your heels, then power to the top and do the curl, all right? So, we're gonna start with our warm up. By the way, solo today, just me to have fun with. All right, so you guys got the lowdown on the workout. Good morning, Brooke, good morning, Sammy. We're gonna get started here with high knees and butt kicks, all right? Rebounding quickly off those toes, you got 10. Then you're taking it to the butt kick. I'm gonna avoid the hop. You guys know why, right? So you can see I've got one foot that's got great range of motion, the other not so much. Next up, we're doing those figure eights or hip circles. There's my volume. All right, taking it down, clasp those fists, fists together, squat, rotate to the right, squat, rotate to the left. Try and get as big a rotation in there as you can to warm up that low back and upper back. Find some space with a nice weight stance. We're gonna put those hands center. You're gonna lunge left and lunge right. Now remember, in our warm-ups, it's non-stop movement. I don't want static stretching. I want dynamic stretching. So it's a flow, all right? A flow like the river. Come on up. Oh, no, flip it. Mountain climbers and push-ups. Why don't you give me 10 mountain climbers, three push-ups. Next, flip it onto your back. We've got a dynamic lumbar stretch. Clear your space. You're gonna lie flat with one leg over to the side and then over to the other. You might get a back crack. If you were with me yesterday, your glutes could be sore. Mine are, that feels so good. Next up, hip thrusts. Stay where you are. All right guys, so look, I see people open up wide. I see people stay close together. I want your feet, your knees, and your hips all in line. When we hip thrust, we squeeze at the top. Next, we've got back roll, split leg reach. All right, little massage here. Split and reach between your toes. Get the blood flowing to the back of those legs. 
eat. I don't know why I like this one so much, but I do. It's a really quick rebound move off of your ball, the balls of your feet. Core is engaged, guys. Make it like you mean it, all right? There you go, get intentional with this. Next up, last warm up move is a squat jump. I'm gonna take the jump part out, drop it down to a squat, fingertips to the ground, stand up with intention. Kind of like a speed squat, guys, all right? Otherwise, add that jump in there, land soft and quiet. We're getting started here in just a second. You got three seconds. <sighs> Catch your breath, guys. Here we go. We're gonna start off with that squat, all right? So grab your dumbbells. You're gonna bring them up and let them rest on top of your shoulders. Keep those elbows underneath, feet are hip width apart. All right, we're gonna go down in two. One, first set, let's do it. Squat, hold, and press to the top. Squat, hold, and press to the top. I'm gonna give you guys lots of different angles to look at here, all right? In this movement, I want your chest to stay lifted. So see this, guys? Take and draw a line from my knee to my ankle, my shoulder to my butt. Those two lines are parallel. When we start to hinge forward and get super deep, if we fall forward, we, we, we wanna bring that up. That's what we mean in the studio when we say, keep a proud chest. You've got three more seconds. Keep your squats coming. And breathe. I'm gonna turn up our music, guys. All right. Nice breathing. Catch your breath. Woo. Blood's flowing. Three seconds, grab your weights. And let's go back at it. Squat, pause at the bottom, I forgot to do it. And then press to the top. Hey, Brittany. Brooke, when are you gonna get Greg in on this? Good, remember, don't go so deep that you lose your form. are you doing? Can you take and visualize the muscle group that's being activated? Believe it or not, just thinking about that muscle group will uh, make the exercise more effective. Here we go. Last set. So think about what you can do here. Now because we're at home, you may not have heavy, heavy dumbbells, which means this might not be fatiguing you. When we're in the studio, that's what we talk about. Fatigue on strength days, all right? If that's the case, sink down even slower. Pulse, stand up even slower. You can work wonders by changing the tempo. And shake it out. All right. Next move. This music is crazy to me. I feel like it's a little bit like, I don't know, 90s? All right, so we have seven seconds. Our next exercise is gonna be that hip thrust. Grab your dumbbells again, or your water jug. Hip hinge. Bring it up tall. Remember, glutes drive the movement. It's that thrust that brings the bells up. Whether it's a kettlebell or dumbbells, doesn't matter, all right, doesn't matter. Thrust it. 15 seconds to go. Your arms should not be tired. Five seconds. All right, rest. Now, this is a common move where people start to feel it in their low back. Here's what I want you to do if you're one of them. Brace throughout the core as you do the move. Instead of thinking about thrusting as much, I want you to think about bracing everything at the top. Here we go. Brace. Belly button tight, draw it in. Thrust and brace. Are you counting your reps, people? Great way to connect. My friends, we got 12. Three, two, 
the other day. They looked like they needed some fun with you. Good morning, Aaron. Bray. All right, moving on. Next exercise, team. We're working the back. So grab your dumbbells, your water jugs. In this movement, hip hinge, hold, brace that core, elbows wide. Bring those shoulder blades, pop them out. Under control. Now, keep going. Don't stop. If you're like, well, my baby weights aren't working, big weights are too, too heavy. When you bring it back, see that nice flat back? That's what I want, you guys. Don't start rounding. Firm it up, push the booty back. Proud posture. If you're not feeling it, squeeze and hold. Hold, squeeze, rest. All right. So I talk all the time about proper form, right? We say athletic stance. Well, there are athletes out there that have bad stances. So what does that mean? It means you've got proud shoulders. You maintain a flat back. Pelvis is in a neutral position, not rotated back or forwards. It's time to work, team. Let's go. Doing it with you. Feet your shoulder width apart. Squeeze and release. Dumbbells are coming below the knees. If you're here, you're working your traps up high. We want mid-back, guys, mid-back. That's why it looks good in tank tops, right? Despite the snow, I know it's coming. Tank top season is almost here. Flat back, guys, flat back. Don't start to round. Keep it flat, rest. One more set. On fire, you feeling it? Okay, one more set of this. And we're gonna get that, that duffel bag ready with our jugs. So get ready, be prepared. Jugs of water in a duffel bag. Let's go time team. Three, last set, hit it. Let's go. Tempo, bust it out, high rep count. Let's do it. Six, calling it out for you guys. I want you to match my tempo here. Come on, get the burn. Last count, whoops. Do it with me. Pull, 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 up, burn. Woo. And that's it. All right, quick, get your bag. Get your jugs. We're gonna load it up. Alternating lunges with that rotation. All right, just grab onto the sides. We have five seconds, get your space cleared. Here we go, three, two, one. Step back, back comes over the forward leg. Together and switch. Now, I want you guys to move. Don't stop, because I'm talking. Here's what happens. Weighted heavy objects in the front. We round as we rotate. I want you to think about that prou proud posture. Tall, tall, erect torso to the ceiling. In that movement, if you don't rotate all the way around, I would rather see you do that than round those shoulders. Rest, I'm gonna jump back in with you guys. I feel like we're listening to 90s Cher. You guys know Cher? Can you hear it? Cher, right? All right, we got three seconds, grab your bag, let's go. Rotational movement over that forward leg. Keep your torso tall, team. Now, what the heck does this work, right? You're doing lunges. That's what a lot of people see. All that lunge is doing is creating instability. You got a heavy object, and you're forcing your core to activate to keep you from falling over. All right? We got less than 10. what I'm saying here. This bag is light. I need more water. I'm gonna throw the skillet in there. Let's see what happens. Woo, let's get ready. We got five seconds. Set it up. That one's for you if you're still with us, Alan. Oh yeah, that is just what I needed. Now, what the heck else could you put in your bag? Think about it. Bags of flour. Dumbbells. I like to start with those jugs of water though. Keep it up. I'm really feeling my obliques here. What the heck are obliques? It's your core, baby. 
marching in. All right, next up, we have deadlifts. All right, so get those jugs of water out. If you did not ready, I was too busy talking. In our deadlift right here, soft bend, hip hinge, flat back, friends. Now look, grab dumbbells if you have them and they're ready. Let's do it. So cool thing. You can grab your kiddos, right? You can grab that bag that we just used. You can grab a big old bucket of water, all right? Sky's the limit here. What do you have at home that's heavy? I mean, really, think about it. You probably have a lot. Get creative. We've got seven seconds. I think I'm gonna keep up with my dumbbells. Remember I said light set, heavy set? Go heavy if you need it, let's go. Don't have those dumbbells, use those water jugs. Get that broomstick in between the handles of those water jugs. And like I said, tempo. How slow can you go? Time under tension, hold. And pop it up with speed. Lots of ways to adjust and make the workout less challenging or more challenging here. Where are we? Oh, I like that I can't see the clock. Five seconds, guys, five seconds. Pop it up and shake it out. All right. As a disclaimer, if you're starting to feel discomfort in your low back, make the adjustments, guys, all right? Don't push through pain, all right? We've got five seconds. You guys ready? Work it. Shoulders flat, back, shut the door, shut the door, hip hinge, it's not knees. Push back first. You don't have to go low. Go to the point where you feel the tension in your hamstrings, that elongation, that stretch. Hey! I'm cheating, I know. All right, next exercise coming up. Next exercise, get set, get ready. This is where we're using the step, and you're gonna come on top with weighted objects. Right? You can use the dumbbells, grab your water jugs, elbows down. It's an alternating step up. All right, now in the studio, we would have our massive plyo soft boxes. Not an option at home, probably. Now look, as a reminder, you guys keep stepping. I had knee surgery, I can't, I can't handle a big step. But if you can, do it, all right? So look. Dining room, table, chair, you can see the height difference. Solid five more inches, okay? Use it, grab it, and rest. Now here's the kick. I wanna keep you guys safe. I usually start every workout by saying, make sure you have six feet of clear space. You don't have things to trip over. Well, I mean, come on. But if you're using a chair, make sure it's up against a wall or something that's not gonna keep it, that's gonna keep it from sliding, all right? We got three seconds, grab it. Set it up and hit it. Face 
exercise here. This is going to be, forgive my eyes, they're not so good. We got upright rows. All right, dumbbells, bar with jugs. You can use a band, all right? Different view. You can see as I pull, I'm not thrusting to pull, which is not bad. But this is an isolation move, all right? Keep pulling, elbows stay above the wrist. Those dumbbell heads come to my collarbone. As I pull, I protract my shoulder blades together in the back of my body. If you're just pulling and you're only filling it in that deltoid, that shoulder, I want you to stop and think about pause at the top, squeeze, all right? Work the entire kind of shoulder, upper back area, all right? One set down. One set to go. Ready, guys? Three, two, one. So, you can do this with bands. If you've got, like, I heard, like, dicks even. You can order online and go pick it up, they'll bring it to you. Check out Amazon. You can order bands at Amazon. Very affordable option for a lot of these exercises. Good. 10 seconds. You start to fatigue. Give one arm a break. One at a time. Make it unilateral. And rest. Got one more set, all right? So I'm gonna use these just. I'm gonna get them set up because I'm gonna need them pretty soon. We've got tricep work coming out. All right. A little bit of space. You coming with me? We got three. Two, one, pull. Now, I was using 11 pound weights. This is light for me. So, you got extra water jugs. Remember the next time we come to these strength workouts, don't pull out two, pull out four, all right? What I do like about this, even though it's light, is it creates an unstable kind of implement for me to use. Like they're swinging, so forces my core to have to activate against that instability. And you know what I feel? More of it in my right side than my left side. Let me just show you why. The longer or the farther away that object is, the more challenging it's gonna be for you. So consider that next too. All right, next, grab your skillet. Grab your heavy dumbbells. I'm gonna start with my skillet, but I'm gonna switch it up for you guys. Athletic stance, not narrow. I want you to go athletic. Hip, toss that nasty dinner over. So if we're gonna go 35 seconds on one side, the next set will go all of it in the opposite direction. And our third, we're gonna break it up. Half seas. All right, all right. 15 seconds. Scoop that nasty dinner and throw it away. <sighs> I have to give a shout out to my favorite, one of my two favorite, 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 coaches all time, F45 coaches. Shout out, F45 Summerlin in Las Vegas. I have to say, I pulled this like, throw your dinner over your shoulder from Coach Kelly. Miss you ladies, Kelly, and I miss Tiffany and Kendra. You're my fans. I mean, you're my faves. Lightheaded from working hard here. Let's go. Keep your eyes following your object. If you're looking over here, can't get as deep. Your whole core doesn't, your whole torso doesn't turn. So keep your eyes on it. Good. Slight bend, rotate. Pull. I also call type take like, think of this as like snow shoveling, right? The only difference is we're not digging and tossing. All right, now look. This is where we're going half and half. I'm gonna kick it up, grab my heavier object. Sandwich them together. All right, same athletic stance. We're going hip to shoulder. Because they're heavier, guess what else? Guess what? Guess what has to activate? Ooh, more core. Two, three, thrust and fully pull, push it over. Let's go. Thank you so much for doing this workout with me. 10 more seconds. Momentum and throw. Coil it up and toss it. Let's go. Three 
seconds. Last one. Whew, heavier weight. That makes a difference. Okay, guys. New move. Going in. Looks like we're down on the ground, all right? Grab your ball, your soccer balls. Grab your foam roller, whichever you're using. Set it up. Two, one. Hamstring curls.
couldn't do the workout. You can. Now, you can make excuses about not having like the motivation or the coaching maybe. That's why we have you here. All right, it's time to go. Grab your bundle.
oxygen for the work that your muscles are doing. Team, three, two, stations to go, two exercises, get ready. We're going into a good morning and a shoulder press, push press, all right? Dumbbells close and a bicep hold, hip hinge, come out of it, push press.
quarters, has pulled everybody's favorite celebrity F45er in, Mark Wahlberg. Mario, forgot his last name, you know the guy from Saved by the Bell. The two of them are hosting Gravity Live. Today, 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Mountain Time. So, if nothing else, get on, check it out. I don't know about you, I've always thought, how cool would it be to get into the same room and train with Mark Wahlberg? I often think, I could take him. Well, maybe used to. But anyway, go check it out. We are um, gonna come back again Monday. I'll give you more details on that and let you know what it's gonna be, who it's gonna be, and all that good stuff. All right, guys, have a really great weekend. Use the next three days to get out, go for a hike, a jog. Do Lopez, thank you. Kylie knows. Saved by the bell? Yes, please. Love it. Zach was always my favorite, though. Anyway, I digress. So get out, do something different from training. You've had two days of cardio, two days, two days, four days, um, total two days of strength. So go do a hike, go for a jog, take your kids and play tag with them in the backyard. Talk about kick or cardio. So whatever it is though, have a great weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye-bye.